Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Team Building Boot Camp Day 2. Woohoo! Sambo and I are here, and we're going to go over, I hope, um, the day two today. So everybody did their homework and posting in groups and they and you guys are networking and um getting yourself out there getting yourself out of your comfort zone that's the most important so sambo today is going to go over i have a new business partner now what <laughs> <laughs> all right so i have a new business partner partner what do i do now all right signing up your new business partner Make sure you're on the calls with your prospects. Have your link ready. Does everybody know where to find their links? If you do not, let me know and I can show you where to find your link. Okay. All right. Then have your email saved in your drafts. Um, I also save everything into my notes on my phone. So when I need it, I just copy it and I send it. Send it email, send it through text. I have everything saved into my notes. Uh, your business partner signed up. Now what do we do? Welcome them aboard. Email your new agent documents. Um, send a welcome text with their next steps. Have them friend request you on Facebook so you can add them to Team Horizon, Team Infinity, Rising Tide, and Evolution Enterprises Facebook pages. Add them to the Discord chat and your team chat if you have one or your mentors, mentors team chat. No more than two team chats for the new partners. They get very overwhelmed if you put them in too many chats. So that's what we recommend your mentors chat and Team Horizons chat. Um, have a have a meet and greet with them on Zoom or a phone call. Get to know them. Have a one on one with them. Kind of give them a little bit of a run through. Um, and then you'll if you meet with them, then you'll see them face to face. They won't just be a person messaging you online. You'll actually have some contact with them and then guide them through their journey. Welcome aboard email. So here's an example of a welcome aboard email. Welcome to Archer Travels. I'm glad you decided to come on board. Attached to my welcome to Archer video step-by-step -step on how to get started. Definitely save them to your computer, print them out. Uh, number one rule is do not get overwhelmed. Um, we all been on, been on our day, well, We've all been on our day, day one on the job. We're all part of the same team and we'll always be there for you when you need it. Please schedule a one-on-one -on -one welcome call with me below. I can get to know you a little bit better. So this would be, if, um, once they join, you can um, send them a few times you're available to have the one-on-one. -on -one. If you have Calendly, you can send them that to do a one-on-one. -on -one. And then welcome text, example, welcome aboard. I just emailed you your next steps, documents. Your first step is to log into My Evolution Travel using your six digit agent ID number and password you created. <clears throat> I have had agents not get um, the success um, message after they signed up. So to find their agent ID, you just have to log into your back office and then you can look their agent number up if they're having issues. Um, you will you will be brought to your back office. On the left-hand side is yellow. That is your travel training program. This is where you will take your certification. So once they finish their certification, that is when they can sign and register for My Team Horizon. Very important. Make sure they're registering and sending their certificates. Getting a lot of just registering or just certificates coming in. So make sure you let them know. Hey, Where do you want me to drop you right now? Anywhere? Oh, I'm a mute. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, never mind. We're good. Um, and then um, you will be accepted within the next 24 hours for approval. 
um, make sure you friend or have them friend you on Facebook and add them into the cheat that you will add them. Over again. What are you getting a mess for? So hey long. guys, if we could uh, keep ourselves muted, that would be great. Thank you. Okay. All right. Adding to Discord chat. <laughs> Huh. Okay. <laughs> Adding to Discord chats. Invite them to Discord team chat on Horizon. Um, when you have your one-on-one, -on -one, give them a little bit of rundown of the Discord. Not everybody is familiar with Discord, but it's such a great tool because in other chats, when questions or things that need to be highlighted or important um, in Discord, we can put them in a tab. So they have access to every um, important document or information, and it doesn't get lost into the team chat. And then be there for your agents, guide them. If they have questions, answer them. You won't know everything, and that's why we're all in this together. When I first started, I, I was team building fairly new. And I, and after I got my first business partner, I started to panic. I was like, oh, I don't know these answers. So what I would do is I would jump on a QA and a and I would ask their question. So now that I know it, and then I can send it back to them. Um, I did that a lot. And then um, when they do have questions, you can also tell them to ask them in the team chat. Um, help them get familiar with using that. Um, and then if your agents are struggling, have a one-on-one -on with them. Let them know there's so much more to learn to take to take their time. Follow the steps. Trust the process. Don't try to learn everything at once. Um, when you become silver, or you can even have it when you have a smaller team, hold little team meetings. Not a lot of people show up when you're first team voting to these meetings, but keep doing it. Keep showing up and then they will start showing up and then holding raffles. Um, it gets them motivated. It gives them some stuff to work towards. But yeah, um, you guys have any questions about when you first get your first agents? Does everybody know what to do whenever their agent makes a first booking? or brings on their first business partner. Type that in there. There's so many, it's like we see different things going on. No, no, no. Okay, so okay. we got a couple no's and we got a couple yeses. All right. Um, All right I, I can pull it up. Okay, Sam's gonna walk through the step-by-step -step of what to do whenever you bring on your first business partner, or I'm sorry, after they have their first booking or their first business partner. Okay. Oh, give me one second. Pull it up. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I gotta sign back in. Do, do, do. Uh, oh. Okay, so if you are um, not silver yet, your your mentor has a flyer just like this, and you can um, send them the information, and they can they can make the flyer for you. Um, you want a photo. You want their name and what they're being recognized for, um, a booking or a building. And then you want to add them into the Facebook chats. Oh, come back. So just like this. You're going to post them in the uh, Facebook chats. You're going to tag your mentor and your platinum. And then you're going to say congratulations to whoever 
and this is for their bookings and all that. Um, yeah, we'll send the slides out on after Wednesday, Wednesday's meeting. I'll send out the slides. Okay, so yeah, that's how we share and um, oh yeah, and then when they, you also want to email, um, let me pull it back up. You want to email their recognitions into um, the Team Horizon Celebrations. I can post that into the chat. But yes, also, like Ashley said, make sure you have their Akimbo card unlocked for their, for their first booking or their first agent. Make sure you request that to have it unlocked so they can get paid. I went through that yesterday. Does anybody need me to go through that again today? It's okay if you do. <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay. I think we're good. Um, Sambo's going to go through it. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you real quick if I can get in. All right. Go to optional mentor. And this is where you request to have it unlocked. Just fill out your information and submit it. And then when either me or Jody gets to it, we'll unlock it for you and then have an email sent out. Uh, this page, this is the Team Horizon uh, Facebook page. So, yeah. Um, what else do you want to go over, Jen? Um, you guys have any questions? Because there's a lot to it with team building. So any shortcuts does not work. So like whenever you do post, make sure you are posting, um, did you go over that post like your mentor? So like if Sarah Paxton, if you have a business partner that has their first booking, you're going to post know. Melinda, you're going to post or you're going to post a page, tag the person, your agent who did the booking, tag Melinda because she's your gold, tag me because I'm Melinda's gold and tag Jody, And then like... um. Allison, I don't know who you're under. I'm staring at you, but I don't know. I think you're Kara, right? Kara, Kara is your mentor. So just same as you. Like if somebody has um, one of your agents have a booking, you're going to tag Kara. You're going to tag Sambo. And then you're going to tag Jody. Yeah. I think that's how it goes, right? Yes. For you guys over <laughs> there. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So it always tag everyone ahead of you. Um, and use the flyer, like Sambo said. Um, that's okay. It's yeah, okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. You're not going to be scolded. No. <laughs> Next time you will. Um, You've been warned. Yeah. What else do we have to go? So anybody have any questions, like any hows or whys or what's or where? If there's anything you want us to go over, um, should be able to. Yeah, I always have to do the at sign. So like, yeah, like that's Jay what I do. Yeah. Yeah. If you just add her. But yeah, if there's anything you guys are unsure of or want us to go over, this is your time. So definitely um, let us know. Yeah, there's no wrong questions. No, kind of just. Yeah, there's a lot when it comes to team building, but it's so rewarding too. 
with it. I'm not sure. Uh -uh. So being that Erica is no longer with us, we tag Sam? Yes. Okay. So uh, uh, if you're under Erica, then you text Sam and then Jody. Yes. Yep. Uh, about not, not able to tag one of the leader. Uh, I did have that issue also in the beginning. And I know Ashley had that issue as well. But then it's just like, I just keep on trying. And apparently it's just like, at some points they let you tag. I don't know. It's just like, yeah, we did have some, some of that issue before too. I'm going to tag everybody. I'm going to be so happy when I get one. <laughs> uh, Sarah, asks, can I post in a, in a story on Instagram? Absolutely. You yeah, can, can, you can do it on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, do them all. Get yourself out there. All right. Do we want to welcome our special guest for today? Yes. Uh, uh, we, go ahead. Do you want to do it? <laughs> no, you, you do want... it today. You got okay. it today. <laughs> um, today we have a very special guest. Um, this person has goals in like straightforward wait my camera's off um our very special guest today i mean this person is like grinding to hit those goals doing everything they can soaking up all of the learning that they can and i love that they're doing this um how long about a little over a year they've been an agent and um Oh yeah, this person's awesome. I love just grinding and soaking everything up. Ashley Evans, you want to tell your story? <laughs> sure, I will. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, so I'm Ashley Evans. I have been here for, I am, what's the date today? Oh, I'm going on 14 months in just a couple of days. And yes, I did put makeup on real quick and I did my hair. Um, it does help me feel a little bit put together because not gonna lie, I was, I was bumming it this morning. Um, so a little bit about how I started team building and I did ask, uh, Sam and Jennifer, if I could do a little added motivation in for us today too, because, um, I get a lot of compliments on it that. Apparently I'm a good motivator. So here we roll. And of course, Brian had to put his camera on to partner up with me with a steering wheel. So thank you. Glad to have my twin on. Um, so I started this uh, going on 14 months ago and I absolutely love it. I started team building out the gate by accident. Um, this came completely organically for me because my parents are huge, huge cruisers and I was so excited when I first signed up, my dad came home from work because at the time I was living with my parents and I was like, guess who's your new travel agent when you book your cruises? So my parents have literally been on like 40 some cruises, like a ton. So I was super stoked and he's like, what, how'd you get into this? So I'm yapping about it. And he's like, no, you're not making commission off my trips. I want to do this and I want the commission. And I'm like, well, dang. <laughs> so that's literally how it happened for me. So um, he was my very first business partner, which he is in it completely for the perks. Um, sometimes I actually still do their book, their travel booking for them just because a lot has happened in my life, which I'm not getting into that, um, just so they can start enjoying vacations again. Um, and then I put my post out there on Facebook when, you know, I did all the trainings, I did all the steps. And at the very end of step three, we all know there is that, um, you know, now to announce yourself on Facebook. Um, and I put that out and that's when my second business partner joined me, which is Tina, who is on this call, Tina Sparaza. Um, so she's actually my second business partner. So her and I have literally been doing this together from day one, pretty much. Cause she started, um, off the top of my head, hopefully she can say I'm right, but I want to say it was February, 
26th she started and I and I started February 3rd so we literally have been doing this journey together um she I love it because especially as a mentor um the things that she's accomplishing right now just by reaching out because she saw my post and this is something she's always wanted to do and my heart of hearts like we have become extremely good friends since then we were literally just facebook friends because i i moved to arizona right before COVID hit so everything shut down and i couldn't meet nobody so i had a bunch of online friends so that actually like butted our our friendship um and she just got into booking and then this year i'm kind of telling her story a little bit but it goes into my story because me putting something out there and joining this and doing this and wanting to help others like this has helped me is now helping her um she's now getting to the point where she's going to be able to leave her second part-time job because she works a full-time a second part-time job and does this and she still managed to book 90s plus thousand dollars in january so anybody out here who says i don't have time guess what we all got the same 24 hours in a day we make it work um so here it goes here comes my motivation <laughs> um but i i started in january um last year you know i went up to executive bronze silver life happened i let things go i still held on you know i still have a bunch of my agents because i still i still kept in contact with them life is always going to happen you don't want to blow those people off um so always keep in contact with them and then january a switch totally just flipped during the founder call and that like hyped me up to no end and then right after the founder call i went out to the birthday party in las vegas and that's when jody was out there i got to meet the founder i got to meet a bunch of other agents uh ron archer the whole shebang uh reggie Rivas. because if there's if there's ron there's reggie they're like batman and robin they are always together um but what really hit me was when i was talking to David McCovey. Now this was literally just a couple days after the call. You know, I was talking to him about how that call like pumped me up. Like, I don't know what it was. And the thing that we hear a lot is we hear the same stuff over and over and over again. But for some of us, we need to be at that point in life for it to actually click and sink in and be like, I get it. And that was my aha moment. So pretty much your aha moment. And when I was talking to him, um, I knew I was in the right spot when February came around, when David McCovey brought up on the founder call that at birthday party, he was talking to some, you know, another agent with Jody Jaworski. He didn't remember my name. We'll work on that. This year he will, when I see him at convention, he will remember my name after this. Um, but he brought up about how he was talking to an agent with Jody Jaworski and, you know, she brought up about how she has the best 6995 friends ever. If anybody's been on calls, that is like, that is my hashtag. That is my line. Like, I'm going to get a freaking shirt on it. <laughs> like everything. Like I started it. That is mine. I don't know if I got copyrighted, trademark it. I don't care. That is my line. <laughs> And he brought that up on the founder call. And that was huge for me because that made me realize I'm at a company that no matter where that person is on their journey, whether you're just booking, building, you know, just building, just booking. Well, we have no just bookers on here unless you're learning to do this. That I realized I was in the right spot because here you have David McCovey, who is the founder of Evolution. And then you even have Ron Archer. They sat there and took the time. And then for him to relay it back on that founder's call made me realize he does pay attention to people he does pay attention to what you're saying it's not you're having this conversation with them and he's looking around the room not even paying attention to you and not listening he is looking at you when you are talking he is looking at you and that was a huge thing so january came around and i said that's it i'm doing this 
I'm running for gold. So here I am <laughs> doing everything and anything at this point because I know and it's I want to qualify for convention because I want to I will be walking stage at convention in whenever it is July, but I need to qualify by April 30th of this of this month. So I'm doing like I'm up till one o'clock in the morning right now, trying to figure out different ways, getting out of the box, um, trying different things, job boards, going into Facebook groups, um, searching Facebook groups for people looking for jobs, like anything at this point. If you have ears and you have eyeballs, I'm talking and you're reading what I have to say. So because I see what this has done for me. And I honestly, I don't do this for the, for, I came into this for the perks. I don't do this for monetary. Like I, I don't do this for monetary to replace my income. I am a full-time caregiver for my daughter. I have a special needs daughter. I will never replace that. Technically I'm an independent contractor with contractor with her. So in a way she's kind of my boss and the state tells me what I can work. That's it. You know what I mean? I will never get rid of that job, but I will tell you reading, um, even listening to our team meeting today and Michelle Page brought up about the funeral for her mother and wasn't allowed to go. I've been there. I've worked corporate and I actually decided years ago to get out of corporate and only work for small businesses. And that's what I did when I, I worked for a TV station back in Pennsylvania and my mom was having some major health issues she was my caregiver while i worked she couldn't watch my daughter and my station manager i couldn't go into work the one day called me in the office the next day and told me that my job was my priority and i needed to find other means for my daughter so i just looked at her i nodded and i said okay I busted my butt and saved as much money for three months working that job, even though I didn't want to be there. And I walked into her office and I saved up money to last me six months without a job so I could find something. And I handed my resignation letter and told her that now it's time that my my daughter is my priority and she needs to find other means for my position because i'm done and i left and i after that i never worked for another corporate company ever um but now i'm here now i'm you know doing this um i say part-time because i do this you know i i do this when my daughter is not home sometimes she is home because everybody a lot of people seen her on zoom <laughs> Um, but don't let things deter you because they may not be going in the direction you want them to go at that moment. So like Jody says all the time, this is a roller coaster. You're going to be up. Like I was doing so awesome. I use job boards. I was, we were doing awesome. There's three of us that share one and we were doing amazing. And guess what? That thing hit the tank. Like I, it's not even in the sewer right now. It's below the sewer. Whatever's below the sewage, that's where it's at because it tanked. But that's not, I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. I'm going to go out and look for other ways because this is what I want. I want to be able to help other, I'm a single parent. I want to help other single parents. I want to help other parents to see that, you know, even if they come in here for the perks like I did at first, you know, I have gone on more trips in 14 months than I have done in years just because of the savings that I've done for myself. Um, and I talk about too, like we're only the first quarter of the year and I've already saved over $1,700 on my own travel. And that's just this year, like from my travels starting in January to now, and that's not even including my cruise that I'm going on in 22 days. So I have managed to, and my goal was to take my daughter on a vacation. My first goal, every quarter, take her on a vacation. And I took her to Disneyland in January. I'm taking her on a cruise this month. 
So I'm at that point. Brandon, I'm not getting into that because it doesn't really pertain or matter. Um, but that is that is my goal. And now that with team building, I love the fact that I'm meeting some really rad people. I have some really awesome people on my team, um, which then, you know, even just joining us in general, you meet some really cool people. Um, but I know I was reading some of the whys and we sit here and we talk about um, that we, we're doing this for our kids. So put a one in the chat if you were one of those that you're doing this for your kids or even if you didn't post it yet. <laughs> I didn't post it yet, but. Um, hey, one quick thing, Ashley. Yes. When you said about doing it for the kids. Do you guys know that if something happens to you, you still get res your your spouse, your partner, your family, your child has to contact corporate and change the 1099 to them and they will get paid on the residuals they will will get paid on commissions and nobody wants to think about if something happens to you but unfortunately we have lost other agents there aren't many companies that do that so I, you just said something about the kids so that's where i just thought about sorry no you're fine i'll let you you're the big you're one of the big cheeses i'll let you go oh now i'm just one of them i used to be well, the big cheese well we have sam too so okay you know, we have we have two big cheeses okay that works that works we put we put you two together we make a giant cheese wheel so we're good <laughs> um but we all say we do this for our kids for our our grant so i have a grandchildren um but what are you willing to do to do that? So like Jody said, and that's an, that's one thing that is very true. Like this is something that, um, if something, you know, something were to happen to me, cause quite frankly, we're all not meant to live. Although we all want to, we're not going to, but this is something too, like I can, I can doing this. I know that I can build this up. So when something does happen to me, um, my daughter has that because one of my biggest fears, and I'll be completely open with you guys, is when something does happen to me, because I know it's going to at some point, hopefully not anytime soon, my biggest fear is I don't know what my daughter's future is going to look like. I have, I don't have any sisters. I don't have any brothers and damn it. I didn't want to cry, but, <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of family and I'm at that point that like, I have guardianship of my daughter, which I find ridiculous because I'm her parent, but when something happens to me, I don't have anything set up yet because I don't know who to trust that's actually going to take that money, take my life insurance I have for her and put it towards her and her best interest and not blow it. Ben's a really great idea. <laughs> Although he's my age, so we're aging together. <laughs> um, but that's so true. And that's one thing that got me into team building too and really wanting to do something because I want to be able to take that money, put it away for her. Um, I did research as to where I can, where I can open up accounts for her that do not affect any funding that she receives through SSI or state funding. So she doesn't lose any of that. Um, okay. Y'all fighting for my kid in the chat. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. <laughs> um, but that's one of my reasons why I want to team build because I want my daughter to be financially set when I'm gone because I don't want her in the system and being taken advantage of. I want to be able to have somebody that I know that I can even provide for them for taking on this crazy job of my daughter. 
Um, so when we say we're going to do things for our kids, what are you willing to do? I know David McCovey has brought up times like, you know, for us moms, if our children were stuck in a building that was on fire, hell or high water, we are going to get into that building to get our kids. So what are you willing to do when it comes to team building to really fulfill your why and what you're trying to do? When Kelsey was little, I accidentally locked her in my car on a hot summer day and I was not waiting for no cops and I busted my window. I didn't care what it was going to cost. I did not, I wanted to save my kid, you know? Um, so really think about what you, you know, think about your why, write it down. Put it on your bathroom mirror. I actually, um, I have on my bathroom mirror, I don't have it on notes. I actually use, um, what the heck are those cards? Sharpies, permanent marker. And I have notes written on my mirror. And if you really want to step it up a notch, you can sit there and put it on like whiteboard markers. So when you take that shower and it gets all steamy, you got to wipe it off and rewrite it because as you keep rewriting it, it's going to sink in and it's going to push you and make you stronger. Um, but I can keep going. <laughs> I, I told Sam and Jen, I don't do any kind of script. I literally just roll with where my heart is at the time. And when I start talking, I just, whatever comes out is what I'm feeling and how I want to share with you guys so i am being completely true authentic no postcards no nothing um you know really figure out what you want why you want it and what it means to you to be a team builder don't be you know do this to help others don't be what i like to call a recruiter because to me a recruiter is somebody who brings somebody in and you're just a number like the deli you pick them put them in the dish when you when they join so you know when you go to the deli i don't know if anybody does that anymore you go to the deli you get that little paper number so that's your agent this is a recruiter you pick that number you have your new business partner you got them you throw them in that bucket when your number gets called don't don't throw don't throw your business partners in the bucket and be there mentor them help them when they have their first business partner you know you can even set up a three-way call with them so that way they know who is who because i know we talked about on the the call this morning you know just even knowing who your golds and platinums are um so definitely mentor your agents be there for them um if they have you know I, you know, we don't have to babysit our, babysit our business partners, but always put the word out there. Like, Hey, if you need me, I'm here. And I tell people, um, even my business partners, I have, I let them, I let everybody know who joins my team, business partners and, um, whether they're building or just booking you know, reach out to me. If I don't respond, I am legit busy because I do, you know, have that other job with my daughter. And if it can wait, I'll get back to them. If not, ask it in the chat. So that's one thing that I like to put out there because I, um, I want them to know, like, I'm available. If they want to set up a one-on-one, -on -one, I personally don't use Calendly for my one-on-ones or my meet and greets anymore. I do it all personal and just say, hey, reach out. I'm here, you know? Um, but yeah, so uh, at this point, I don't know what else to say, but if anybody has questions for me, I'll gladly answer. Let's give Ashley a big thank you. I mean, if you're not motivated now you, or before you definitely are now. So I appreciate you sharing all that. <clears throat> you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Anytime. No, that was amazing. We all felt the emotion in that.
I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Um, anybody else need or have any questions or does anybody want to share their story too? I mean, we still have a little bit of time. So, um, anybody want to talk about their why or anything? I mean, I can quit recording and then we can talk too. Can I piggyback off of, oh, was that, was Jody trying to say something yeah. or was that echoing? So let me just say one quick thing, Rachel, and then you can go. Um, what's really cool as you team build is to see other people's successes and to see other people, you know, get to fire the boss or get to have um, disposable income or whatever it might be. So team building isn't just about you. It really becomes about others. So that's all I wanted to say. Go ahead, Rachel. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to go off of how Ashley said, you know, don't just throw the agents in the bucket. Um, if you, because I know a lot of people do this like as part time and stuff like that. Um, it takes a lot of time to, to obviously team build. Um, so, but you have to also set your boundaries, set a schedule let people know what, like, as soon as they, you know, sign up and stuff, Hey, this is when I'm available. If I don't answer, or if you need something urgently, we have all of these resources in the chats to get a hold or get your questions answered and stuff like that. But if your heart isn't in it, don't team build because like Ashley said, you'll just throw those agents in the bucket. They'll be lost. And it's more of a headache for, you know, some of the leaders and stuff that get text messages, messages, emails, and stuff that, oh, my mentor isn't helping me. If you don't have your heart into team building, don't team build because you still have to be available even if you have a full-time job or, you know, life happens, you know, life always happens. But still, if you want to team build, make yourself available, set an hour or two hours of a day. Okay, I'm going to focus on team building for this little bit. Take some time off. Okay, now I'm going to focus on doing some bookings and quotes and stuff like that. Um, because it's hard to see people say, you know, oh, well, I've been here for, you know, six months and haven't done anything. I've been here for a month and there is, I'm not doing anything. And okay, so what are you doing wrong? And what can you do to fix that? I am the biggest person that I will tell you consistency is key, but guess who isn't consistent? Me. <laughs> we tell you guys all the time that consistency is key and we're not kidding. Um, take the time. I have three kids, so I work around their schedule. So you just have to make the time to do it and set your focus and your priorities. Is your family a priority? Absolutely. But if you want this business to be successful, make it your priority also. Exactly. I say that all the time too, Allison. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's all. <laughs> exactly. Good job. Thanks, Rachel. Anybody else have any questions? Ooh, that's a good one. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So our homework today is going to be time management because I hear so many times people say, I don't have time or I can't do this or, or I have this or I have that. I want everybody, tell me what you think of this, Sambo. I want everybody to make a schedule of their day. Like 7 in the morning, 7.30, 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30. Tell me what you did on that day. There's no judgment. I just want you to write down and tell us what you did from 7 to 7.30, 8, or whatever time you get up. If you get up at 4, write that down at 4. Um, your, whenever the day, your, the time your day starts to the time it ends, every half hour, every hour, whatever, I want to know what you did. Because if there's gaps there, like three hour gaps where you watched a movie or, you know, whatever, didn't do anything, played on your phone, that's when you say, well, I don't have time. Well, then look at your, your schedule. Look at what you did. Look at what you're doing, you know? So that's your homework today. There's no judgment, no anything, because trust me, you don't want to see mine on some days either. <laughs> <laughs> so so we all have open mind there's no judgment but that's what i want you guys to do um you can post in the chat or you can send it to sam and i directly however you want to do it um 
but yeah, this will definitely get you out of your comfort zone too, because that's the whole point of networking yourself, getting yourself out there, whether you're booking and building or doing one or, you know, booking and building, whatever, um, getting yourself out there and getting out of your comfort zone, right? Because it's you, it's up to you to introduce other people to this business. So, um, Sambo, you have anything to say on that? No, I think uh, time management is definitely key. I mean, when your day is fully packed, there are gaps. Even I have gaps in my schedule and it starts from 4 a.m. to 9 to 10 p.m. at night. But I have gaps. So I try to do something, at least for my business or working on something, team building, booking, uh, uh, social media, marketing, anything. I try to at least get something in there. Oh, Canva has templates for this. There you go. Yeah. I need a piece of paper. And they're free. Yeah, and they're free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you write it down, then you physically see what's going on. Um, I mean, even doing it for an entire week and see how your schedule is. You're like, oh, at two o'clock every um every day, I'm not doing anything. So make that your time. Yeah. Every little bit. Can I, can I say something in that regard? Yes. Um, so the habits training that I did talks exactly about this. Take a week and map out your day. Just, just do a day or two and then look at it for the week and find some place for you to attach something that you want to do with something you already do. So it's going to be a really simple example, but let's say you want to start, um, you want to start exercising more. Okay. So you tell yourself when I'm done brushing my teeth, I'm going to do 10 jumping jacks. You can do the same thing with your business. When I finish making my, well, I've heard Jen say this, um, while I'm waiting for my coffee to be made, I'm sharing my mock bookings. I've heard her say that on a number of occasions. You can do that throughout the day and you will be surprised at how your day will, how much more you will be able to accomplish for your business once you start to be um, cognizant of it. So, Yeah, definitely. Exactly. Ashley, you had one more thing to add to? I did. Um, and it was all, it was kind of what Rebecca talked about because I know <laughs> I know her and I have both read the um read atomic habits and we've learned all those strategies. Um also too today, um, like I said, I am I am grinding at this point, whatever I can grind. Like I am taking that stake and I'm grinding it to a pulp at this point because I have this goal. Um, so today, for instance, if you can delegate things, delegate things with your time. So today, because I knew we had this going on, we had the team meeting going on. Um, I wanted to follow up with a bunch of groups that I just added. I did an Instacart order. I did two of them. I did my Sam's Club and my grocery. <laughs> And all I had to do was walk out my door and bring it in into my house. But that saved me so much time running around that I could be working my doing work. Um, also, any you can always find time to share a post because it takes what two seconds. Um, out here, I get gas at Sam's Club. There is always a line. When I'm sitting there in that line, I will sit there and share stuff or find conversations to have with people. Um, so you can always find time. And just like Rebecca said, when you're doing something, you know, as simple as making the coffee or um, your dinner's cooking or something like that, you can find time to put the work in. So like I said in the beginning, we all have the same 24 hours. It's just up to you how you are going to run that 24 hours. The yeah. end. And yes, <laughs> the steak. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Boom. 
Um, okay, so I think if we don't have anything else to do, um, tomorrow we have two special guests, not one, but two <laughs> special guests. And you're really yeah. going to want to stick around for that, uh, yeah. for the second one. You don't want to miss. You, you don't, don't want to miss either one. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to miss either one. No. I love hearing everybody's stories. And yeah. just to know that you're not just like when you think, oh, this isn't working for me. You're not the only, you know, you're not the only one. Okay. That's why we tell our stories because everyone has the downhill, uphill, the yeah. downhill, uphill. You know, it's all about how you um, grind through it. And I really think what Rachel said should hit home too. If this is not for you, don't team build. Yeah. If this is not, if you're not going to be there for your um, agents, don't do it. You really have to be there for your agents. Yes. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, thanks guys for hanging out with us. Um, do your homework, post, network, reach out. Um, don't forget our raffle. Yeah. Don't forget our raffle. What's yeah. our raffle? Rachel, did Rachel make our uh, flyer. She did. Let's she see if I can did? Find it. Rachel she did her did. homework. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Oh, oh, that's not it. Did we not post it? I didn't see no, it. No, I sent it to you and it never got posted. Yeah, oh. that's all you, Sam. That's my, bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm I did I'm... my part. I didn't know where it was supposed to be posted. That's why I didn't I'm... post it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nobody... I'm right now. Nobody sent it to me. <laughs> that was all me. So... My, bad, my bad. Where did I just post? What did I do with it? See what uh... happens when I'm not involved? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, where did it go? Oh. All right. All right, we'll get it posted. What is it? Uh, Sam, you want me to post it? Yeah, I'm you have it? here for some reason. Yeah. Since Rachel shared it with both of us. There yeah. it is. I got it. Got it? Okay. Yeah, there it is. Now it's in the chat. It's in the team building chat. So if you reach executive by April 19th, you win 25. Bronze is 50. Silver is 75. And gold is 150. So... I do have a question with that because I was going to ask you last night when I was making it, I forgot. Are those stackable? Yeah. Like yeah. if somebody hits yeah. executive? Okay. Go for Just it. Just to yeah. clear things up. I'd be happy to pay out to see that stack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stackable means your sure. double account. Your your yeah. second leg, your, fir your first leg, second leg, third leg. Um, I know somebody asked that yesterday. What's what's the, what is, what does a leg mean? Do we want to get into that today or we want to go to that tomorrow? Um. We can break oh, on it today. Yeah, we have five minutes. Yeah. Um, so in order to get to gold, you need 15 in your main account and three separate legs of silver. Um, when I started building, I was told you are your best builder. Okay. You are your best builder. So whenever, like the rule of thumb, if you get your main account to 11 agents, I was told 11 agents is like the magic number. Um, then you start your second account. So with evolution, you are able to get two personal accounts using your same social security number and two business accounts with your same EIN. Does that make sense to everybody? We even have in the optional mentorship, the optional mentorship side on the website, how to apply for a free EIN. If they're going to charge you, you're in the wrong spot. It's a free EIN number. Um, set yourself up with the business or with your, so you can apply for your EIN number. Now, once you get your main account to 11, you can start your second account. So like my second account, my first account, Jennifer Holzhauser, my second account is Jennifer A. Holzhauser. I just did it like that just to differentiate because when the emails come in, it will say, congratulations, Jennifer, congratulations, Jennifer A. Um, you sign yourself up just like you're signing up a new agent. You're going to go under your main account, enter your information, just like you're signing up. You'll get a new six, a six digit agent ID number, all of that jazz. Um, once you hit silver, 
Okay, so I'm going to start over. So then once you get your second account to 11, like 11 is a magic number, then start your first business account. So you're going to do the same thing. Go to your main account, enroll an agent, fill up, put instead that you can put in your name and then you put in your business name. So like mine's J2 Travel Booking. Jody's is JZW Travel. You'll put it in there so that way your certificate will say that business name. Um you technically don't have to take your certification for each account if you don't want to. Um, and then you'll get that to 11. Your fourth account, you'll make your second business account. So your main account, start your second business account, J2 Travel 2 or whatever you want to do. Um, and then you'll get that one to 11. And then so 11, 12, 13, 14, you need one more and you're gold. <laughs> Does that make sense, everybody? I know. Once you hit silver, reach out to your gold consultant, your gold or your platinum, and they will have the gold talk with you. Okay. But that's kind of like a quick, brief instructions on the legs, description of the legs. Ooh, look at that flyer. Rank up giveaway. <laughs> I love it. All right. Who's grinding? Who's get, who's ranking up before the 19th? Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't wait. Don't wait any longer, Sarah. Let's do it. Let's get you. <laughs> I love it when agents build. I do. I love it when agents succeed. When I get those numbers, you know, those raffles, or I, when Selena hit silver, she was my last one to hit silver. She just had a baby too. Like just had a baby. I'm like, oh my God, this is perfect. You know? Because now she doesn't have to worry about her monthly fees. She's gaining a little bit on something. Just like David McCovey always says, make something pay for something. You know, make this pay for your phone bill or your car payment or your insurance or whatever. So, all right. Yay. Okay. I cannot wait till tomorrow's special guest. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. So, okay. Well, you guys have a great day. Do your homework and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time. Bye. Right. Bye.